okay we have a reversible heat engine here and we have a reversible refrigerator here here the heat engine is always work from high temperature to low temperature and the low temperature is always equals to what atmospheric <coughs> and refrigerator always work from low temperature to high temperature and high temperature is always atmospheric in both the situation heat is ejected to atmosphere so we take the advantage of this one and we'll make a combined figure of this one it was the first figure so this is again a concept of same combined refrigerator and heat engine only difference is that th here i am showing on here that is t atmospheric and to this we are rejecting the heat from the refrigerator this tl i am keeping here and from tl we are taking the heat equals to what q1 so both figures are one and same moves from low temperature to high temperature here also heat moves from low temperature to high temperature and work is required to drive the refrigerator and work is produced by the heat engine no changes are made on engine side only the position of tl and th are exchange so if the tl and th are position are exchange the direction is also change so if both are same what we can do is that we'll combine them here is th1 is the highest temperature the source temperature of engine is highest we are keeping this value that is this value at a low temperature and is t atmospheric is intermediate temperature so temperature are like this highest intermediate and lowest combine this device so is this device is exchanging the heat from high temperature and is it uh, giving to the low temperature and in between this is it in communication with the intermediate temperature so part of it is ql and part of it is what qh2 so we have a intermediate temperature we have a high temperature and we have a low temperature so let we have combine combination that is this two device this i am marking here as a circle and i will called as heat transformer transfer is communication with th1 which is the highest temperature so it from th1 it receives the energy equals to what qh1 and from this one is the lowest temperature that equals to what tl2 from this temperature also this machine that is a heat transformer receives the heat equals to what qh2 and the total heat of the combined system given to the atmospheric which is at my intermediate temperature and that quantity equal to what ql1 plus qh2 so this figure and this figure is it one and same figure is this is a reversible heat engine this one is reversible machine so this also reversible so we'll say this one is ideal reversible heat transformer so can we say that summation of q by t must equal to what zero and therefore can we say this quantity as far as heat transformer is considered is it a positive quantity so this one is plus q h1 upon p h1 this quantity is it a positive quantity to this is plus q l2 upon t l2 and is this total quantity is a negative quantity so this one is minus of q l1 q h2 is it divided by t atmosphere and is this sum must equal to what right heat engine in series so let call this eta h e 1 source is th minus sink is t upon source source is th equals to w 1 divided by q h 1 for heat engine 2 source is t minus sink is tl upon source is t this one is w2 
and this one is what QH and QH is same as what QL is it fine now here I am deriving one equation that is the temperature T for two conditions for one condition is that both engines are equally efficient that is eta he1 is equal to eta he2 that is my first condition and second condition I develop for T such that W1 equal to what W2 and then then we can develop any condition that W1 is 2 times of W2 or W2 is 3 times of W1 eta e1 is half of eta e2 so in general I define eta e1 equal to what eta e2 and then you can generalize that condition so right condition so to develop this condition he has given us that both engines are equally efficient so let write first eta he1 equal to eta he2 so what is the condition given by him will continue and what is eta he1 is th1 minus t is th upon st upon th is same as t minus tl upon t th by th is 1 minus of t by th t by t is 1 minus of tl by t so 1 1 cancel minus minus cancel so we left with t divided by th equals to tl by t so what we get is t square is it equal to th multiplied by tl and therefore is the intermediate temperature t is the geometric mean of source temperature seeing temperature but when you solve this equation take care that both temperature must be in Kelvin. Both engines produce equal work. We have to find out the corresponding condition for T in terms of TH and in terms of TL. So let's start with equal work. So W1 equals to W2 and W1. But what is W1? Okay, let W1, W2. Can we find out equation for W1 from this side? So what is W1? We cross multiply and you can write this equals to what? QH1 multiplied by th minus t th equation I can write from this one w2 that is ql multiplied by ql multiplied by t minus tl divided by t is this fine now little adjustment I will make here instead of this th here I will write this th here so this one is qh1 divided by th now inside the bracket is simply th minus t and this one is ql and t now it is left only t minus tl let call equation 1 to solve this equation further we want to get rid of this term and to get rid of this one I will go for clauses inequality my both engines are reversible engine so for reversibility engine, for this case, can I write QH1 by TH? So I have to write down for reversibility engine 1. Here I write a summation of Q by T for reversible is it 0? So QH1 divided by what? TH. What is the sign of this one? Is it positive? Because it is a supply and this one is ql is it rejected so this one is what minus is it ql and corresponding is what t equal to 0 does it means that qh1 divided by th is it same as ql divided by t if this one is true can we cancel this term if we cancel this term we left with th minus t t minus tl minus t will shift to this side so it's a th plus tl 2 times t so this time is t is the arithmetic mean th plus tl divided by 2 if you select your temperature as an arithmetic mean 
then will both the engine guaranteed produces equal work and if you take the intermediate temperature equal to geometric mean then it is guaranteed that both engines are equally efficient so for equal work we have arithmetic mean and for equal efficiency we have geometric mean but suppose he says that this work and this work so he says that this work is three times of this work again can you produce equation or vice versa so we are ready for any equation and again you can use this equation that is a clauses inequality you can use any time the same results are applicable for refrigerator also if the cop 